Well, before we start our journey, I would like to introduce you to your guides. Um, first off, my colleague. Uh, my name is Nikki. Um, during this journey, I started off as a software engineer, and right now I'm working at the CTO office as an enterprise architect of the Dutch Tax Administration. Uh, my name is Alan Schovers. Uh, I work for the Dutch government as well. Uh, I used to work as a product owner. These days, I'm an epic owner and a development manager. But that's enough about us. It's the journey you're here for. We want to take you along our journey. Um, and while it is specific for what we did, there are a few generic key insights that apply equally to all. Um, we hope to inspire you, but we don't want to leave you empty-handed. So we're going to give you a few key ingredients and some insight into the challenges we faced. And if we talk about these challenges, it's very important to tell you where these challenges are happening. Uh, I would like to call it the kingdom of isolated knowledge. If you look at the government, there's something unique about it. We have a lot of smart people working together oh, within this kingdom of isolated knowledge. We're working together um, and there's something special about it. The people that work there have an intrinsic motivation to do better. They want to make a change. Even if you don't ask them, they're going to make the change anyways. So that's very special about this kingdom. And if we look at making change and we trace it back, it all starts with a bold idea. So I believe that every change starts with a certain spark. And for us, this spark was this bold vision to create a design system, ecosystem part in, uh, within the public sector. And we wanted to share and expose this to others, not only within uh, the Dutch tax administration, but also within uh, other public administrations and share this with them because we saw so much uh, benefits, possibilities and opportunities. Um, we wanted to create a more unified, accessible, consistent uh, and digital environment for our citizens as well internally. And our goal was to establish a single source of truth uh, for our developers and our designers. And thereby create a uh, foundation where we have a shared knowledge and that it allowed us to build and uh, innovate consistently. But in order to get this out there, we had to take an even bigger mission. The underlying idea was to share our knowledge and collaborate out in the open uh, with the world, but especially with departments close to home, because there's already so much to gain for the public sector in our own backyard. But it comes with challenges. A lot of these challenges are centered around culture, about changing things that don't want to be changed, but have to be changed. But to do that, we need the right tools for the job. And concerning tools, uh, at that moment, we didn't have all the right tools for the right job. So we didn't have the right tools to go open source, uh, co collaborate with other people, also people who are really interested in our product to collaborate with them as well. Uh, so that was a challenge. Um, another significant barrier was uh, a culture of risk avoidance. Since we are within the public sector, we are the Dutch tax administration, we have a public face as well. So there is quite a lot at stake. We have a reputation to keep up. Um, and another one is that we are kind of policy first driven. We have a policy first mindset and we wanted to change that to a more um, innovation driven policy mindset. So that was kind of a hurdle. Um, but we are pioneering in this, in this case. And pioneering is scary. You're trading into uncharted grounds. It's a dark forest of the unknown. You have questions. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what answers to ask, even though we had a few. But in this dark forest, while you do not know where to go, you have a spark to guide you. And to guide others, you find and meet along the way. And together, you can get answers to these questions and turn these sparks into a flame. Yeah, we lit this flame by inspiring others, joining others on our journey, but to work all together, we need to get everybody on board. And uh, those are quite some people that you need. We work together with open source evangelists, um, OSPO leads, architects, developers, designers, policy makers, and we all need to work together, be on the same page um, and make this a success. It's not just you. And it creates a ripple effect um, yeah, to transform into something successful. 
And there's an issue with complexity. You cannot handle it one part at a time. You cannot just take one chunk and address it. You need to address all these things at the same time. So you need these people. You need these other visions, these insights, these other skill sets. So make sure you find these people and tackle your complexity together and make this change lasting. So this transformation didn't came without pitfalls. Um, we, uh, oh, yeah, okay. We, uh, we didn't have to take, we didn't need to take shortcuts because um, cutting corners, um, well, it, it doesn't work. We are paving the way for others as well. So uh, what we did is making sure that we work together. Uh, we are making sure that it is secure. So we contact uh, our security engineers, validate with them as well engage and include all stakeholders across the organization. Um, so we are making sure that we are on the same page and that they understand it as well, that they feel included as well. Um, and in order to make everybody understand what we're doing, we also need to, write, need to write clear policy. So again, we need to be on the same page and everybody needs to understand where we're going. So we are creating this foundation for future projects. So the, gives some insights. Um, yes, ahead. these insights you can use to tackle your own bureaucracy dragon. Uh, one of the most important things to do is do it the right way. It will take some time for your project, but it will pave the way for others. This is an investment that pays off in the end. So do it the right way, even though it does make more, it takes more time. And use your spark to guide others, ignite others, and share your knowledge and have a clear vision where you're going. Share this vision, engage your stakeholders. And most important, face your challenges head on because in facing these challenges lie your answers, lie the lessons you will need to overcome these challenges. And a lot of times it's overlooked that you have to dare to dream big. In the beginning, there's something unique about it. A dream has no boundaries, it has no challenges. It just has potential. So dare to dream big, inspire others, but take small steps toward that big dream. And there are some key ingredients that are absolutely crucial for success. And one thing is change doesn't happen overnight. Um, you need to stay committed um, despite the hurdles that you will overcome, keep the bigger picture in mind. Um, second, no one can do this alone. Uh, so find someone, and not only just one, actually more people around you to help you pedal. And um, another important one is be authentic, because you started this journey probably with this vision that you have, stick to that vision, um, be authentic and true to your own values and the vision that you initially started, and build and gain trust around you. And um, for me, the most important one, have fun. Uh, it all starts with this enthusiasm that you have. Uh, so enjoy the ride. Um, it's not always sunshine and rainbows, but um, in the end, have fun. So um, on that, we are closing off. This. Yeah, and with our final slide, I would like to address that it's very important not just to change, challenge, so chase your own ideas, your own dreams, but if we really want to make a lasting change changing the world together, then we need to plant the trees in which shade we may never sit. So be that spark, tell your story and ignite it for others. Thank you very much and I hope we will give you some insights to tackle your own problems. Have a great day. <laughs>